Either they identify with the character in the show or something made them laugh. Something appealed to them. And so with meditation, the results that come out of meditation should appeal to you. Results, not just speaking on the answers and the next steps that you need to take. The results of calming your emotions. Taking all the extra voices out of your head. Extra voices, meaning everybody that she was on the phone with. Or everybody that she was around. Or everybody that was at work. Quieting all those voices. And sometimes we walk away with different people problems. Actually releasing them. And finding a pill and just hearing your voice. Hearing the deeper understanding of yourself. Growing accustomed to it. And actually enjoying it. And enjoy residing there. And staying there. And then your seconds will turn to minutes. And your minutes will turn to hours. But you have to be willing to dive in. You have to. Once you begin to dive in. You begin to understand what meditation is. And what it's not. Meditation is a precise technique. For rest in the mind. It's a precise. That means it hones in. It allows you to rest your mind. Sometimes you could go to sleep. And wake up and still feel tired. Because your mind was still going. You still had the TV playing in the background. You still had the music. And your brain was fully engaged. To the point that it really didn't get any rest. And so sometimes. We wake up tired. Because of. What we leave on in the room. Because this is a central nervous system. So any stimuli that is bringing an alertness to it, it allows it to keep running. So it's actually good to cut off the TV, cut off the music, and just sleep. So meditation... When talking about meditation, meditation is a precise technique for resting the mind. It allows you to attain a state of consciousness that's totally different from the normal waking state. That's the in tune part I talk about. That's the part that plays a significant role in you being great in life. There's a talent, a gift, something that you pose to deliver into the world. And through meditation, you'll you'll become centered enough to hear what exactly that is. What you're wired to do. Or you start looking at a series of events while meditating and seeing and breaking them down. Okay, this keeps occurring, and I'm good at it. And so, you meditate to tear everything down to you, and you become centered. Meditation is a way of diving in the different layers of yourself. And it's like balloons that fill with helium. And they're, as soon as they fill with helium, they're capable of just blowing all over the, the sky if you don't grab those ribbons that's attached to it. Meditation will allow you to bring all the ribbons in and, and tie them down. So that anxiety you fear, feel, that fear, that anger, Resentment, everything. It allow you to bring everything under captivity, and just be clear. You know why water is so effective when meditating, because not only of its sound, its sound is very vivid, and if you focus on water. 
and you just listen to the water running and streaming down, its property in itself is vivid enough to calm everything going on inside of you. And not just you hearing the water, but also seeing it. Look how clear water is. Clear. Water is a resemblance of clearing everything out. Meditation is the difference between you just doing what you can and doing your best. Doing what you can and doing your best. Meditation is something that allows you to have no excuses to move forward. Meditation allows you to be a base with your flaws and still be great. The craziest thing you ever want to do is be strangers to yourselves. You don't know how your inner voice sounds like. You don't know what it is to tune in to self. You could be on the phone with 1,500 people. You could be doing 50 other things in the world. But at the end of the day, if the person you look in the mirror at is the strangest person to you, you're cheating yourself of living such a fulfilling life. There's such a uniqueness about each one of us that if we tune in, we appreciate our very existence on this earth. Meditation will give you self-understanding. These are all the powers of meditation. Meditation will make sense of the confusion that goes on within yourself. This central nervous system called the brain is a powerful machine. And just like any other machine, it needs time to rest. If you run in your PlayStation all day and all night, you touch it, it'll be really hot. And then you'll say to yourself, let me cut it off for a second. Or your TV if it's running nonstop. You actually shorten the life of your TV by constantly running it. And I know, I seen a lot of theories, but are they factual? I challenge anyone to look anything that I say up. Because it's all about growing and learning. And one of the major things that helps me learn is to take Whatever theory, knowledge, information I get from someone else and take the time to look it up myself. I've never been the type to just believe what is said. Okay, I'll take notes on it, but then I'll, in my personal life, expound on it and really read into it. And I challenge you to do the same. challenge you to do the same of course when you think about meditation you think about peace happiness and bliss and it's true it makes sense it makes sense when you meditate and you calm all those voices down and you rest your brain there is peace 
there you will find peace. You can't find peace in chaos going in your mind. There will you find peace. So it makes total sense. It makes total sense. Meditation brings self-awareness, self-understanding, self-love, self-therapy. Meditation is so powerful that if you take the time to do that instead of do many hours invested in other activities... You'll probably have to scale back the hours you invest in other activities and it'll become quality over quantity. What you need to do will require work, but if you get the quality, the core awareness of you doing that activity, you might turn four concentrated hours and make it equivalent to eight long hours. But those four concentrated hours will be filled with everything that you need to do to get to the next step. I'm so attracted to meditation just because of the results. Just because my mind can be going nonstop on theories, ideas, and assumptions, mainly assumptions, assumptions of the future, assumptions of people, assumptions of situations. Meditation will calm all that down. And make me aware of what I need to be doing. Because if you desire it, then you can do it. And if you can do it, everything can come into fruition. Everything. Meditation. can be done in the morning, in the night, in the middle of the day, throughout the day, again while driving. Meditation is something that you voluntarily do. You could take a class in yoga and it'll end with meditation, but you choose to do it. Your instructor will give you the option to choose to do it. I'm going to tell you a little story on how I started my meditation. I read a book on meditation years ago that as you focus on different parts of your body, you start calming your mind down because you start thinking about the different parts of your body. So, you can begin this activity if you want to start extensively diving into meditation and not making it 30 seconds or 60 seconds, but diving in like full-fledged and turning it to a 20, 30 hour, minute long activity. You can dive in by thinking about your body parts. So how you do this activity is you can either lay flat on your bed or you can sit straight up in a chair. It could be reclined a little if you would like. Right now I'm reclining just to show you how simple the activity is. And so what you do is you begin with the tips of your toe. And you go all the way up your body. And you name from the left to the right the different parts of your body. And you make it a full...